Hi everyone, welcome back to the next diecast. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this 124th scale 2015 Ford Police Interceptor Utility made by Motormax. I got this model from Amazon Warehouse Deals for around $19 in total. Um, as you can see, it did come in some damaged packaging, but with Amazon Warehouse Deals um, items, I guess you can say, most times they will come with damaged packaging or were previously returned items. But um, I thought that was a pretty good deal for this. I think its original retail price is maybe like $24 or $25 or something. So I think even just a few dollars off was a pretty good deal for it. Um, I do have the Fire Chief version of this, the FDNY version. I did do a video of that a little over a year ago. But um, this unmarked version is going to be a little bit different, I think, from that version. And I do plan on maybe doing a custom project with this one, which will be a separate video in the near future. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the box. You can see it's in Motormax's kind of law and enforcement series style, I guess, of box where it's kind of black and red. Um, you have the Motormax logo and stuff on there. Um, yeah, assortment includes vehicles with, with authentic graphics and plain cars for custom um, decorating. So this one, of course, fits into the custom decorating category, I suppose, because it is a blank cruiser. So we'll go ahead and get it out of the box, see what we got I'm going on here. See, is it still taped on this side? Yeah, shockingly, it's actually still taped despite the damage. Usually when there's damage on these warehouse deals items, the boxes are um, at least somewhat torn open. The, and this one is obviously torn, but the tape is still on the flaps. So All right, we'll see if we can get this tape off on the side. Not the model next. All right, there is our police interceptor utility. So we got one spotlight that's missing. I kind of figured something would be broken on this. That's how most of these uh, Motormax models are, un unfortunately. But I will be planning on to uh, probably do some customizations to this. I do have re some some replacement spotlights too, but I'll get to that um, later on. But um, here's the model in the meantime. I do like this kind of city background they have going on too. So we'll get this unscrewed from the base next. All right, here's the model off the base. We'll go ahead and get this uh, strap off in the center here. All right, here is the police interceptor utility unscrewed from the base and the strap removed from the doors. And of course, with this model, you have opening doors. All right, here is the Ford police interceptor utility out of the box. This is very similar to the FDNY Fire Chief version of the same vehicle that I bought and reviewed a little while back, a little bit over a year ago at this point. And as we'll see here, I was able to put on some new spotlights. Um, these are metal spotlights that I got from policecarmodels.com. They're made out of metal and they come as kind of just bare metal. So you have to either paint them or in my case, I used a black Sharpie. Um, to kind of make them look like whatever color of spotlight you want to make them. And then I used my touch-up um, chrome paint pens to kind of color in the front so they have kind of a reflective look to them, like the real um, spotlights would. And as you did see, only the one spotlight on the car came broken, but I, I decided to just take them both off and just put these uh, new ones on. So that's the main thing you're going to want to look out for for these Motormax bottles that have these spotlights is that they're gonna come either broken off or just loose and you're better off, um, even if they're okay, you know, just get ready to either replace them or to glue them back on if they do happen to fall off. But I was able to get a new set for the model and I think they, they look um, good. They're a little bit rough, I think, in terms, of the, in terms of what I did, in terms of like the paint and stuff, but I can always go back and kind of finish them off a, a little bit. But yeah, like right off the bat, that's I think one of the main issues with these models that, um, 
Motormax has made of these law en enforcement vehicles is that if they come with spotlights, they're going to be a little bit loose at times or even come broken off in the case of how mine came. So just keep that in mind. But aside from that, I think the model in general is fairly well done. They do a good job, I think, with, with the overall look and shape of the kind of basic Ford Explorer look. Um, and it is proper 124th scale, which is always nice to see. A lot of times for the SUVs and truck models that manufacturers make in 124th scale, they tend to be a little bit underscaled, like 126 or some cases even 127th scale to kind of fit in the box. But nope, this is true um, 124th scale, which is nice to see. In the front, decent detailing. Build quality, not so much because the headlight doesn't really match up well with the grille. As you can see here, there's a big gap between the hood and the top part of the light, as we'll see right there. The indicator lights are actually integrated into the light, um, into the light housing, I guess I should say. Um, so they look at least decent. The Ford badge on the front looks fairly well done. It's embossed on there, it's not just a sticker. And then you have that California um, license plate down there too. And the front push bar is actually surprisingly sturdy. I can pick up the model like this and it doesn't feel loose or anything. Definitely don't pick it up and hold it like that or anything, but compared to the spotlights, the push bars on these Motormax models of police cars are always, I think, very sturdy, which is odd to see because if the spotlights are not sturdy, you'd think that the rest of the plastic parts aren't sturdy, but that's not the case. And same goes for this light bar up here too. I do like the light bar on here. In addition to looking good, the light bar is also very sturdy as well. I wouldn't recommend picking up the model by the light bar, but in theory you could and it won't pop off. So. That's nice to say. And of course you have the uh, kind of classic looking blue, red, and clear lights on here. This is, I think, an LED light bar. And it's also the low profile light bar too, which looks uh, very good. And then on the side, classic dog dish wheels that Ford uses for their police vehicles. You have kind of the silver in the center. And then of course you have the gloss black going around the middle there. And the wheels themselves are actually nice and sturdy. There are single um, axles on here. So it does roll on nice and smooth, which, which is a nice touch. Paint quality is decent for, for the most part. That Fire Chief version I have did have several of those kind of uh, blemishes and kind of unfinished areas. This one does have a few scuffs here and there, but with white model cars in general, you're gonna kind of see that like every speck of dirt or like all the minor scuffs are gonna kind of show up. But this definitely I think is better in terms of paint quality than the Fire Chief version that I have. There are some seams here and there and some areas where the paint kind of ran too much, but that's just what you get with these uh, Motormax models, unfortunately. But there's no rough areas. Um, there's a couple like minor like blemishes here and there, but definitely not as many as I would have thought I would have seen, which is nice. Um, because with, once again, with the white paint, you're gonna be able to point out flaws um, easier than you would with like a darker um, colored uh, vehicle. So paint quality, I would say for a Motormax is good, but for a model in general, I think it could be a little bit better. But um, that being said, this is a 124 scale model. And if you can find it for, you know, the, the price that I found it at, I think it is a good deal in that sense. And then taking a look at the back, decent looking taillights. They're a little bit better, I think, than the headlights in terms of fit and, and finish. This front area here does kind of stick out a little bit too much, but Aside from that, the rear portions are, I think, nice and flush. And then you have the reverse lights kind of painted on there, which look good. And then back here, you also have the Ford badge and the police interceptor utility badge is also nicely embossed on there in silver, as you see here. And then on the bumper, you actually do get these lower, I guess, reverse lights down here too. Or maybe they're turn signals, and I'm not really too sure. They are just painted on, but the real vehicle um, does have them, which is cool. Now, similar to the Fire Chief version, the windows are just blacked out. They're not even like translucent or anything. You do get a back seat in here and a partition, but for some reason, instead of making them kind of tinted windows, Motormax just made them blacked out completely, like just opaque windows. If you can even call them windows because they're opaque. <laughs> the 2022 version of this vehicle that I reviewed, well, I reviewed the regular version instead of the uh, law enforcement version. Same thing, the windows were just blacked out as if they kind of went ahead and just painted them on as black paint instead of just making them as um, actual windows. And yeah, they are supposedly windows. They're separately cast plastic pieces, but they're completely opaque, which is odd just to say. And the Fire Chief version does have that same flaw, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. I just always thought it was a little bit odd that, that, that they did that. 
And for the side mirrors, they're decently done, but they have this kind of weird rubbery plastic texture to them. And you kind of see that with the Fire Chief uh, version too. So that's just something to keep in mind there. For opening features, all you get are the opening doors, just like the Fire Chief version. They open up pretty wide like that. They're on dog legs, so that's why they open up so wide. Um, and you have a pretty plain looking interior. Um, the police in interceptor utility interiors were pretty plain, but there could be some more detailing done in here. They do a decent job with just the overall, I guess, shapes and textures in here, but, as but um, aside from that, it really is not that much fine detailing present. It's kind of hard to see from this angle here, but you do have the molded in vents. They do a decent job with those. There are some buttons in the center stack, but you can't really see a whole lot. And yeah, you do get that laptop computer in there, but it's just kind of like a black slab. There is some detail for the buttons and for the screen, but I wish some more coloring was done in here, at least for like the buttons and whatnot. And the steering wheel definitely is a bit too flat on the front portion there. As you see, there's no Ford badge either. So that, that's a little bit odd. But, um, and the door panels too, not really a whole lot to see in terms of detailing, but that's just what you see for these models by Motormax, unfortunately. The seats are okay at best. They're definitely a little bit too small and the seat bottoms are a bit too tall and thick. Um, that's always an issue that I think these Motormax models have as far as like the seats on their models go. The, the texture is decent, but aside from that, and you can see that they're mounted on one single piece and they're actually pretty loose. So that's a bit um, odd to see that, but sadly typical for these models by Motormax. But aside from that, there really is not too much to talk about for the interior here. Very similar to the Fire Chief version. Um, so not really a whole lot to say besides that. But all that aside, this is definitely a good model to use as a platform for customizing it. Um, you can get different like decal sets, and whatnot, so you can make this like a police department that you know of, or, or like your local one or something, if they happen to use this particular a vehicle in their fleet. So I do like how Motormax offers kind of a kind of a variety of different blank models to sort of uh, customize um, in that sense. So that's, I think, the best part about it. Aside from that, though, the details are okay at best, but I think most of you guys who customize these models are going to probably add your own details. But... If you can find this for under 20 bucks, I would say you're getting a pretty good deal. I probably wouldn't pay much more than 25 for it because there are there's definitely an absence of a lot of details as far as the interior goes, at least. And the build quality can be spotty at times. But from a far distance, the model does look super cool. I will um, give them that. Um, and even stuff like the wheels and everything, they made those very sturdy. The push bar is um, very sturdy. The overall, you know, scaling and everything, they did an excellent job with. But aside from that, they could have, I think, done better in some areas in terms of finer detailing and with build quality. That being said, I think this model would look good in any collection of law enforcement vehicles in 124th scale. So feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on, on the model here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.